Can I make a game without knowing how to code using AI in less than one hour? The answer is yes, this little space game that you see here. I will show you how I did it and what I've learned so far. Let's start. We will use ChatGPT, the plus version. First, we simply write the game objectives. First tip, be specific, state all the goals from the start. I wrote 10 instructions that imitates the classic Asteroids arcade game from 1979. The AI then gave me the basic instructions. We will have two main ingredients. One, a HTML file that is the actual web page. Two, a JavaScript file that contains the game code. You can create the game files in any text editor. Just remember to save them with the proper file ending. After receiving the initial instructions, GPT created a 10 point to-do list. We need to create classes for game objects, spaceships, stars, asteroids, laser beams and whatnot. It also suggested that I fill in the details. No way. GPT should write this step by step and I should only act as the assistant, pasting code into the JavaScript game file. First, it creates classes for the different game objects and then, when prompted, gave me functions to update them and to control the ship that we're gonna have in the game. This is the first time I tried to play the game. There is a spaceship and I can move it around. Great. I was now less than 10 minutes into the project. Next step, white stars in the background. Let's just paste the code into the editor, update the game, and there it is. We just keep on going down the list that GPT created, and up next is asteroids. I get the code, paste where GPT says I should paste it, and we now have these colorful balls moving around. Still no collision detection though. Here you can see something pretty common when there is much output. GPT cut off mid-code, just tell it to keep going where it stopped. Now I've got the code for collision detection among the asteroids and it works. The balls bounce off each other, which I want them to, but they don't react to the spaceship. Next step is one of the most important, laser beams. And just as before, I only copy and paste the code GPT gives me. There were very few errors when I did this project. At this stage, we were 15 minutes into the project. Not bad. Okay, so the laser beams work, sort of, but they fire the wrong way and they don't look like laser beams. Just tell the AI to do better and be specific. But, uh-oh, uh, here was the first error. The laser stopped working altogether. I checked the browser console, but there were no error messages there. After some back and forth with the AI trying to fix the issue, I did what you should do now and then. Remind the AI what the entire code looks like, otherwise it forgets. Just paste the entire JavaScript file into the chat window. Then it realized what the problem was and the laser beams went back online, but they were the wrong way. You can't shoot horizontal laser beams. A few tweaks and they finally look like I want them to, 25 minutes in. The next step is making asteroids explode when laser beams hit them. This was quite a lot of code to paste, but it worked on the first try. I also told the AI to make laser beams disappear when they hit the edge. Then I wanted to improve the game over function so that you could start over the game. This actually took a few tries. In the end, I had to settle for a button that reloads the entire web page, which is not great. In hindsight, I should probably have told it from the beginning to implement some start the game function that could be called, but it is what it is. I also added a message for when all the asteroids have been destroyed. We're actually done already with a really basic version, but since there was time, I thought we could add a few improvements. First, let's make the asteroids vary in size to make it more visually interesting. And here I had to remind the AI again what the entire code looked like. But then it got its stuff together. And now for the final touch, a visual effect when asteroids are hit. And there we go, first attempt. And we're done. We have programmed a simple game in a programming language which I don't know. The final time was 42 minutes. I think that is pretty amazing. The big lessons learned for me is that one, you need to be specific and should state your goals very clearly from the start. Two, you should feed back any error messages into the AI to improve debugging. And three, remind it from time to time what the entire code looks like. Let me know in the comments what you think of the game and if you have done similar experiments coding with AI. 
And also, if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Until next time.